Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Jay Duran, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I bet all of you thought you were safe after the first video, but it turns out that there are way more curses waiting to sneak up on you and ruin your day. Man, when I die, I hope I leave behind a curse that people remember me by. Nothing evil, just something that's inconvenient or embarrassing, like you fart after every first kiss. That would be my vibe for a never-ending jinx. Will there be something like that on today's list of Top 10 Curses That Came True Part 2? Well, you're gonna have to watch the whole video to find out. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, stick around for the whole video because I'm going to be doing some more pet shoutouts, which you guys love so much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. And right before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor. Are you tired of carrying around a bulky wallet that juts out of your pocket and makes you look like your Santa Claus carrying gifts? Are are you worried about people skimming your card? Or is it simply time to get a new wallet? Well, do I have something amazing for you? Extra designed some of the most efficient smart wallets in the world. They're sleek and leather bound so you look like a boss when you pull it out of your pocket. You know if you have to pull out like five cards out of your wallet just to get one? Well with the extra wallet there is the signature pop-up feature that ensures easy access to your cards at all times. Boom! Look at that. That's so cool. Don't worry about anyone trying to steal your money or information off your cards. Esker wallets offer RFID protection so you know your cards will be safe from the growing risk of skimming. Also if you have ever lost your wallet or had it stolen, you can get an Esker tracking device to put in your wallet that you can locate it through an app on your phone. You feel like a spy and don't worry about if the little tracking device dies, it's solar powered. You won't have to be charging your wallets. It's not one more thing you have to charge. Anyone who is interested in checking out these super cool wallets should check out the link in the description below. My favorite line is the classic collection. And now let's get into this list. At number 10 we have the Tippecano Curse. If you really want to get down you can even put a curse on a president. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if you can curse someone who hasn't even wronged you. You just want to throw a curse on them just because you feel like it. Like you could be like I want to curse that guy who sits across from me sometimes at the coffee shop for no reason. I just don't like his vibe. Or I'm going to put a curse on him that makes him bald for a long time. <laughs> well there was the Battle of Tippecano and the Native American forces were pushed back and defeated by President William Harrison's army. They thought it was a wonderful victory, but the Native American leader Tecumuse wasn't happy about the outcome and he put a curse on Harrison. He would later die from pneumonia while still in office, and every 20 years after that, a president would die while in office. Holy moly, that act of terror lasted for 140 years. It wasn't until Ronald Reagan was almost killed in the 1980s that the curse was broken. Now you can all sleep easy, unless it just skipped a few years and it's gonna come back in 2020, and then we're really screwed. At number nine, we have the curse of Osiris. If you find a statue of the Egyptian god of death in an old tomb, maybe you should just leave it there. I don't believe in curses and junk like that, but I also don't mess with them. Keep your little death idols to yourself. You understand me? Well, there was a dig where an archaeologist by the name of Walter Brian Emery found a little statue of the god of death, and he thought it would be a great idea to take it home with him. Yeah, grave rob a statue of death from an ancient Tomb. What else could go wrong? Well, he got home and everything seemed to be fine, and he went into the washroom to have a shower. Moments later, he was found and he was unable to move. He was paralyzed on half of his body. He was taken to the hospital, but doctors could not find out what was wrong with him. The next day, he died out of nowhere. So maybe this was a brain aneurysm or a stroke, or maybe the god of death was like, hey, bro, sorry, you don't get to steal my stuff. At number eight, we have the curse of the billy goat. A dude brought a billy goat into the Cubs stadium back in 1945, and it all went downhill from there. William Cyanus brought his billy goat Murphy. They got kicked out because people said that the goat stunk and they didn't want to sit beside it. And then he said the Cubs ain't gonna win no more. Then the Cubs didn't win a World Series for 71 years. That's pretty brutal. I guess they should have just put up with the gross goat. At number seven, we have the curse of Spider-Man. Did you know that there was a play about Spider-Man? Did you know that it cost over $65 million to make? Did you know that there's so many people that got injured on set that the labor board had to get involved and the opening got pushed back five times. Yeah, this is considered one of the most cursed plays of all time. There was even a director who died from a heart attack while the play was in production. Probably from all the stress that was put on his heart when the budget was out of control and people were getting hurt every two weeks. Also, the play never made its money back. 
At number six, we have The Curse of Little Bastard. James Dean is one of the most famous actors of his day. He was one of the original heartthrobs. I mean, just look at him. He would make every girl in the country want to put up posters of him and daydream about a fake wedding. Well, the rebel without a cause was a bit of a speed demon and liked to rip around in his Porsche 550 Spider. And one day, his lust for speed led to his doom. He died in a car crash. After that, there were rumors that the car might be cursed. After the crash, the car was sold for parts and every car that received parts from the famed Porsche crashed. One mechanic who was working on the engine had his leg crushed when the engine fell on him. Another person who tried to steal the body of the car was also killed by the car falling on them. At number five, we have the curse of the Kennedys. JFK getting assassinated shook the world, but this was just the start of the curse of the Kennedys. In total, five other Kennedys died. None of these deaths were from natural causes. One of them drove off a bridge. Another one had a drug overdose. Another one was assassinated, the one outside of JFK. Another Kennedy hung herself, and finally, JFK Jr. died in a skiing accident. I mean, I guess you can blame this on bad luck, but it's either the family is cursed or someone out there wanted to make sure that every Kennedy was dead. And by someone, I mean the shadow government Illuminati, of course. At number four, we have the 27 Club. If you're a young, famous musician and you make it past the age 27, then you should wipe your brow a little bit because you just dodged a bullet. There's been a series of ultra talented artists who met their end at the ripe old age of 27. Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and Jim Morrison are just some of the more famous ones, but there are way more. Dickie Pride, Damo Morris, Amy Winehouse, and a ton of others are all part of the 27 Club. I mean, for the most part, all these deaths are from insane parties that you get from having celebrity status. So I don't know if you can call it a curse or a need to overindulge, but I'm 27 now and I'm hoping I don't blow up to like right after I hit 28 so that I can just like go past the whole curse thing. If I'm gonna die from a drug overdose, let's do it like way later. At number three, we have the curse of Turan. Don't upset a dude with six fingers unless you want to get hexed for a thousand years. That's what happened in Hungary. Back in the year 1000 AD, the king wanted everyone to become Christians, and an old shaman didn't like that, so he put a curse on Hungary for a thousand years. That seems like a bit of an overreaction, but it might have stuck. Hungary had misfortune for those 1000 years, and throughout the 20th century, they were one of the highest countries for suicide rates. At number two, we have the curse of the Hope Diamond. It seems Seems like you steal rare stuff and you get cursed. That's an easy rule to follow. The Hope Diamond is hella cursed, but it's also worth $250 million, so it's kind of worth it to steal it. Anyone who has ever owned it has either had their whole life fall apart, the people they love killed, or money pulled right out of their life. In the worst case, Louis the 14th was eaten alive by wild dogs. So how much are you willing to risk for $25 million? Well, Actually, a lot. I'm willing to risk a lot for that. And for the number one spot, we have the Bermuda Triangle. Any kid who grew up in the 90s knew about the Bermuda Triangle. When I was like 10, I thought it would have already been there like eight times by now. But the Bermuda Triangle is apparently hella Curse. There has been a bunch of people, planes, and boats that have gone missing in that area. Like when five bombers went missing in the area in 1945. And when some big old bombers disappear, you don't really just let that happen. So the military sent in a rescue team, and then the rescue team went missing. And at that point, they probably were like, maybe we need to chill for a moment and figure out what is going on, because this is crazy. Also, maybe we should stop going there. Is there anything good in the Bermuda Triangle? Let's go to Cancun instead, and we just go party. We don't need to go to Bermuda Triangle, we'll go Cancun. Cancun better. All right, everyone, that has been our list. And as promised, I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day. So if you don't get picked one day, message back another day. If it takes me a little while to get back to you, I am very sorry. I have a lot of these to do. I'm a very busy person. And without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. First, we have Beth Allen's cat. Look at the eyes on that bad boy. That's beautiful. Big old green eyes. After that, we have Loki. Look at how squishy that squish boy is. He's so squish. He's so squish. So much squish. Squish. Then we have the little mouse named Pip. Oh my god, this guy is so cute. It's unfair. He's a house. You see, like, like chewed a door in it. That's crazy. Next, we have Reggie. He's defending his toy like a fierce beast. Look at him. Then Anastasia sent in a picture of her dog enjoying the sun. Look at that guy, he's just chilling out, getting the rays. And closing out, we have another Loki. Look at the different color in the eyes. What a handsome boy, he's so handsome. He's got a vest on and everything, he's a handsome guy. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been Jay Dorana, and remember, I wanna leave a curse behind that makes you fart every time you kiss a girl, cause that's funny to me. That's what I would find funny. Then my ghost laughs at you, because that's what I like. I like that. 
I like it. Bye. They thought it was a wonderful victory, but them. Tekuma. 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 Teku